Okay, what we have here is a 1976 Mercedes 0309D, they call it. This started its life in Australia apparently as a school bus, and then uh, a fellow lived in the bus while he built his house. And then I got it off an old couple in Queensland. Spent a long time respraying it, cutting the rust out of it, and stuff like that. But I've just lost the energy and I can't go on anymore see the body works pretty straight it's looking pretty good both sides are like that it's got a beautiful handmade rack on it and this lovely little ladder that goes down the side it's got some mounting points here and another one up the front and that's for this awning here but uh I didn't like the awning, it was a bit old school and I was going to put a Fiamma awning on it. Got two spare wheels here, lovely barn doors that open up at the back here. Uh, handmade aluminium rear uh, tailgate, two external 240 volt plugs, that's that side. I'll come through the back. Initially this van had a shower here and this whole section here was a shower and, an, and another fold out bed like this But that bed I've slept in it once and it really was too short to sleep this way So I'm six foot tall and I, I easily touch both sides so uh, I got rid of it and in fact I had huge plans to strip the whole interior of the van out you see I damaged the roof here, the carpet on the roof at least anyway, just when I tore the shower out, there was a shower and toilet in there. The hole in the floor there was where the waste hole for the bathroom came out and went underneath into the wastewater container. Um, what's awesome about this car, it's got an instant hot water heater on it. Uh, it's quite an old one, uh, but a good one. Tons of storage up the top. This is like a cupboard. At the moment, it's holding some spare parts. Uh, for, for namely the front window seals, because uh, the front window seals are very badly perished and need to be replaced. It's got a lovely little kitchen in it. All the cabinets are pretty good condition. Uh, sink's pretty old. The plug's perished, but it's fine. It'll do just great. Uh, good location of the sink too. Uh, underneath here. Gives you maximum bench space, but we've got a little got a little cooker. Someone's obviously put a little bit of a cement board on there, which is a good idea. Stop the heat getting into it. Cooker with a grill works perfectly. Uh, cooked many good meals on that. And a virtually brand new 12 volt three-way fridge, gas. Ooh. Gas fridge, probably do with a bit of a clean out, no it's not too bad, has not been used for a long time. Got the storage along the top, and just another little cupboard space at the front here, currently just used to keep some gearbox oil and the oil and coolant and some of the leftover residual paint. Um, this car is licensed to seat four or five people, four people for sure. Uh, and at one stage I had a Ford Transit seat along the back here with two built-in seat belts bolted to the chassis, which I thought was a great alternative. So you could sit here and use the table. And uh, there is another seat belt here, so that would be the fifth one. Um, and then if you wanted to comfortably sit for here, I was just going to suggest getting a tiny little stool out and uh, You could just sit here So you have four people eating dinner here. This table comes up and down That has a little Mechanism at the bottom here so You can lift it up to adjust the height or pack it down Currently, I've got it screwed to the floor, which is a bit of a shame because there's this awesome thing here, which is a uh, it's a single bunk bed you'll see it's got this mechanism and then that goes up to some hooks on the ceiling and it just obviously you can fit a full-size adult uh, comfortably there um, and then 
this bed, there was two of them, but I got rid of the other one, which is probably silly. This kind of comes out, I guess like that, and folds down. You get the idea, it comes out flat like that. Uh, you could probably use it if you wanted to fabricate another one, but uh, like I said, I thought it was a little bit too small. Anyway, this is the air conditioning system. It only runs on 240 volt, and all the camping we do is free camping, so we, I've actually never used it. Uh, I've had plenty of times when I wish I could use it, but uh, yeah, we just never got around to it. Currently the bus has got this mismatched rear spare on it because the, uh, the one that was painted black, which is that one, it went flat. So there's two spare wheels and it's got the one that unfortunately is not black on it. So this little thing here is the filler for the diesel. Uh, we've got a reserve tank over here and the main tank itself. It's got an interesting little step that just if something comes down, push button handles, all this works beautifully. It's got really old school kind of a screw mechanism to unlock and lock the window. It just comes out and does like that and locks back up, just pushes against the glass. Two seats up the front, both are swivel chairs. Got the swivel mechanism here. This one's got a little funky clip down the bottom. You have to lift that up. And it's a bit of a... And that just swivels forward like that, allowing you to uh, access. I'm pretty sure this uh, gas strut that's attached to it here is worn out because it should be a lot easier to move that chair forward than it, than it is. And just walk in. Great old school dash. It's got the little wishbone key on it. Starter button is over there. There's two batteries in the vehicle. Both live under the seat just here. Starts very easily. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Seat comes back down. Uh, the engine uh, compartment is here. There's a little couple of clips on either side if you want to get down and have a look at the engine you can you can do that pretty easily by taking that off very old speaker and sound system in here It'd be one of the first things I change if I was to get serious with this car but pretty much that's it it's six meters long just under so it takes you six good steps two three four five Six. To get to the back, I can stand up six foot tall very easily inside. Nice and wide, plenty of room, plenty of light coming in. I've left these daggy old curtains here because I did a pretty good job of making them and I thought that would make a good template. I would put black curtains all the way around, proper block out black ones. There's even curtain rail and curtains in the front here uh, in case you wanted to... Uh, you know, get some privacy a whole way around. So this comes down and that track goes all the way across the front and the curtains can go the whole way around. Um, plenty of old school uh, lights in here. I would be tearing all these out and putting uh, LEDs in. Anyway, it's not my choice now. Okay, well, that's the Mercedes 0309 or 0309. Uh, could definitely do with some love on the interior. I would be tearing the carpet on the roof out and doing what most people do and put a nice little funky wooden roof in. And I was going to gut the whole thing, put a new floor in it and everything. Floor's solid, it's not rotten or anything, but it's just it's pretty old and probably could just do it with a little bit of love. Glass all around is pretty good, but uh, I'll show you the one out the front. This is the issue. This front window seal is totally roached out and hard as a rock. I have got another one inside the car. It was hard to find. I got it in Germany. When I was there, I bought a bunch of other parts as well. Rocker cover, gasket, sump gasket. 
but it replaces this side and this side and I uh, would definitely be the first thing I would do as well you don't want the window to fall out and uh, it's hard to find another one this is the other bus on the other side still got the cover on here it's a 508 D it's exactly the same um, but it's a panel van style it's the ABC X broadcast van it's got this beautifully crafted uh, aluminium bottom on the front which is aftermarket but very 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 strong very handy because you can step up on these side parts here and uh, access the roof or well, I guess at least check up on the roof like a little side step but I'd like to put a massive LED light bar along the front there and these lights are working but pretty ineffectual it's nice to put some LEDs in there too but uh, very funky looking old unit just gonna push that out closes the hood 1976 0309 cool very cool old thing good size gross GMV of 4.5 tons it's right on the edge of what can be driven on a regular license it's got a mod plate on it from Queensland to say that it can be driven I guess when it was made from a school bus to a passenger vehicle they mod plated it uh, big truck mirrors, they've all been off and restored, no rust or anything in them, all the doors all work just great, no problem there on either side, a little quick once, top blinkers here really should be replaced, I took that one off when I was painting the roof and never put it back on, they're all pretty old, I thought you could get them pretty easy on eBay, I just never bothered to replace it. Got a cable sticking out here, that was for the TV aerial. Had a TV aerial running up the side. But I took it off and never got around to putting it back on. These are the fridge vents. I did take them off and had the intention of buying some new ones and putting them on there, but I just couldn't find the ones the right size, so I just put the old ones back in its place. This is the this is the vent for the hot water system. Obviously that's the intake for it, and it, it got an exhaust hatch on the roof. And this is the water filler here, just fill it up. You can see this side of the van is the uh, same as the other side, it's in very good condition. Uh, there was a little couple of spots of rust up the top here that got filled in. But pretty much you'll see it's in, in good condition. Just a little bit of, that's just dust on that door. And then there's right down the very end on this side, down in the back there, that's where the gas bottle lives. I'll go and show you that. Now I've turned on the master switch down here. Make sure the key is all the way on. The start button is here. Little tiny bit of fuel and Excellent bumper on the on this one, original bumper. Great condition. Well, it's uh, it's original. Let's put it that way. Unfortunately, there's a slight crack in the side of the windscreen here, which is uh, a bummer because it would have been great to have a spare. That one's going to fit the other one. But uh, lots of the roof details all still intact. No rust in that. Anyway. Uh,